As part of the electrification of the Great Western Mainline Railway from London Paddington to Cardiff, new electrical connections are required from trackside substations to the National Grid substation. We're carrying out the project on behalf of National Grid, our client, and the connection is formed of a double uh, cable circuit connecting the existing Malkstrom 400 kV substation to the newly constructed trackside feeder at Tingley Junction. The total length of the cable route is 10.4 kilometres and we can lay up to 800 metres per day with our new cable trailer. Demarcation fencing has been erected either side of the working sway to form a work area. Topsoil has been stripped both sides evenly to create a working space through the centre for the haul road to be placed for access to the plant and machinery. Once the cable installation is complete, the haul road will be removed and the topsoil will be placed back to its original condition. As you can see behind me, we've created a V-bucket to form a safe angle of repose for our excavation. This forms a trench that the CBS sand cart can be dragged along to form the bed of the ducting. The piece of equipment behind me is a sand cart that we've modified and put a conveyor belt on to deliver the CBS into the V-shaped hopper behind me. The CBS itself is filled into the top end of the stone cart. It is then delivered down onto the conveyor belt which in turn fills the hopper. As this process is happening, the tractor then pulls forward and moves the hopper along with it to leave a 75mm layer of CBS in the invert of the trench ready to receive the ducts. It avoids having to get operatives in and out of the trench. It also helps us speed up the production process. It's a one-pass method which delivers a smooth layer behind it. So this is the uh, newest version of the Murphy duct laying trailer. The duct trailer was specially designed and manufactured by our own fabrication team in Kentish Town. It has a bigger capacity to lay a twin sets of ducts at the same time. The ducts are loaded from the top end of the trailer down to this platform here where the guys then move the ducts up onto the profiles here set up behind us. The ducts are then banded together using a banded machine. They pass out through the triangular profiles at the back to leave the correct segregation on the ducts in the trench. The benefit of using the duct trailer is it increases efficiency. The reason being that we can install the ducts on a single pass, whereas conventional methods require several passes. Rather than importing 6,500 metre cubed of CBS, we elected to do our own on-site batching using the volumetric mixer here behind me. The CBS batching process has been signed off and verified by an external quality assurance company who issued us with a batch code certification for the production of our own CBS. So with this particular machine, we can guarantee convenience, quality and consistency. If we want material early in the morning, maybe a bit later in the evening, maybe the weekends, we're not dependent on outside contractors to bring in material for us.